Hello, it's time for another edition of Level Up, where we give you an abundance of writing and communication support. Why? Because we're Grammarly. This is what we do. In this video, I'll dive into the world of research proposals and provide seven key sections for the next time you're asked to write one. But before you soak up all this information, subscribe to our channel for more of this educational content and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you. And if you're in need of writing and communication assistance, visit Grammarly.com to download the free writing tool that will help with all your writing needs. And now on to our feature presentation. In college, you're used to academic writing, essays, research papers, etc. We've discussed them at length in this series, but let's say you're asked by your professor to write a research proposal or a literary review. Don't worry, I've got you. Boiled down, a research proposal is simply a short piece of writing that details exactly what you'll be covering in a larger research project. You'll likely be required to write one for your thesis. And if you choose to continue in academia after earning your bachelor's degree, you'll be writing research proposals for your master's thesis, your dissertation, and all other research you conduct. In a research proposal, the author demonstrates how and why their research is relevant to their field. They demonstrate that work by filling a gap in the existing body of research on their subject, underscoring existing research on their subject, and or adding new original knowledge to the academic community. A research proposal also demonstrates that the author is capable of conducting this research and contributing to the current state of their field in a meaningful way. Your research proposal also has to cover these things. The research methodology you plan to use, the tools and procedures you will use to collect, analyze, and interpret the data, an explanation of how your research fits the budget and other constraints that come into conducting it. A research proposal follows a fairly straightforward structure. In order to achieve the goals described in the previous section, nearly all research proposals include the following seven sections. One, introduction. Your introduction achieves a few goals, introduces your topic, states your problem statement and the questions your research aims to answer, and provides context for your research. Two, background significance. This is where you explain why your research is necessary and how it relates to established research in your field. This is also the section where you clearly define the existing problems your research will address. Three, literature review. This includes landmark studies and their data, books, and scholarly articles. A literature review isn't merely a list of sources. That's what your bibliography is for. A literature review delves into the collection of sources you chose and explains how you're using them in your research. Four, research design, methods, and schedule. In this section, make sure you cover these aspects. The type of research you will do. Are you conducting qualitative or quantitative research? Are you collecting original data or working with data collected by other researchers? Whether you're doing experimental, correlational, or descriptive research. The data you're working with. You'll also need to cover how you selected your subjects and how you collected data from them. The tools you use to collect data. Will you be running experiments? Conducting surveys? Note all the data collection methods here along with why they're effective methods for your specific research. Beyond a comprehensive look at your research itself, you'll also need to include your research timeline, your research budget, and any potential obstacles you foresee and your plan for handling them. Five, suppositions and implications. This section is perhaps the most critical in your research proposal argument because it expresses exactly why your research is necessary. In this section, make sure you cover the following. Ways your work can challenge existing theories and assumptions in your field. How your work will create the foundation for future research. The practical value your findings will provide to practitioners, educators, and other academics in your field. The problems your work can potentially help to fix. Policies that could be impacted by your findings. How your findings can be implemented in academia or other settings. Six, conclusion. This briefly summarizes your research proposal and reinforces your research's stated purpose. Seven, bibliography. The way you write a citation depends on the style guide that you're using. The three most common style guides for academics are MLA, APA, and Chicago, and each has its own particular rules and requirements. Grammarly also has a free citation generator at grammarly.com citations. You should check it out if you need some help. There's a lot that goes into research proposals, like a lot. So please don't fear. Remember this video the next time you have to write one. And if you're in need of writing and communication assistance, visit grammarly.com to download the free tool that will support all your writing needs. Thanks for watching.